How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We're going to be taking a quick look at Series 15 today. It's the latest update and it was pretty much released today with the Horizon Holidays Festival playlist. We've got the full change log and there's a few things in there that wasn't really mentioned on stream, which is worth noting. All of the bugs and fixes, a new cinematic for the new Lamborghini Sian, all the new stuff on the evolving world, if there's any new leaks in this update. Just going to cover all of that so if you do enjoy this video and you like to see more make sure to subscribe so as i said series 15 released earlier this week but the season changeover was today now we have as usual the graphic from playground games Forza horizon 5 horizon holidays all the new features we already know them and the major game fixes now there were quite a couple of things on the major game fixes that was actually worth pointing out the vinyl related accolades now progress as intended. I think this has been broken for almost a year. I remember having this issue a long time ago. The areas discovered stat now no longer applies as the incorrect value. You can see all of them there. Some of them are quite cool. Now, as usual, we have the full change log as well, where we can see each individual thing that was fixed. We have all of the general fixes. Some of these are on the previous screen as well. If you want to read these, just pause all of the cars fixes there's quite a few of these again if you want to read into them just pause and have a scroll through and then event lab fixes there's a lot of these i'm joking there's only one several festival i don't even need to read it out you can see it on screen that along with everything we already know is in series 15 is the full change log so there's plenty of fixes they just kind of brush the fixes under the rug sometimes as i said there is a new cinematic trailer for the lamborghini Sian. not entirely sure if it's on the forza youtube channel yet but i'm going to play it in this video regardless i have had to mute the music as it is probably copyrighted Pretty cool. As we all know, that Lamborghini Sian can be earned in game when we all collectively win the Secret Santa sort of reward on the festival playlist. As you can see, the bar is basically at zero right now. But as soon as that's completed, we will all get the Lamborghini Sian, as you all know. One of the other new cars is the Cupra Urban Rebel. Now, this is the car that we're all going to be gifted if we have played Forza before today. Otherwise, you can go and buy it from the auto show if you're very impatient like I am for, I think, 2 million credits. Um, there's quite a few upgrades on the car, mainly a motor, which almost triples the horsepower, or at least over doubles it, from about 400 to over 1,000 horsepower, so it gets really quick. It's already on slick tyres and everything else is pretty much fully upgraded. But it's actually a really fun car to drive. I'm not, I like electric cars in real life, but in games they're always a bit boring. But this one's actually quite fun feels like a rally car feels very nimble and very sort of throw about throw around corners but it's electric so it's actually quite cool and the other cool thing it's actually really really quick in reverse as well it does over 200 miles an hour in reverse it's actually quite easy to control it's quite a cool car to drive about in as far as electric cars go i will be driving around with this while i'm showing you the evolving world which is next the evolving world as promised is coming back for christmas holidays uh, with a bunch of christmas decorations around the map now it is said to be very similar to last year but there are a little bit more compared to last year now i couldn't actually find many noticeable differences i, I think they mentioned that player houses now have a bit more christmas decorations than last year but I'll show you what I found on screen. As you can see, the houses do have Christmas trees and candy canes around them. Um, I think this is new. The castle, I can't remember what the castle is called, the most expensive house, is also sort of Christmas size. It's got sort of red bows along the arches and the entrance to the house. So that sort of Christmas size. Every player house has some kind of Christmas decoration around it. Um, the festivals are actually surprisingly lacking. I thought that they would just platter all of the festivals with hundreds of christmas trees why not go all out 
you've got the capabilities of evolving world why not just put christmas trees everywhere why not so the festivals are a bit meh and then as usual in the city there is the giant christmas tree just below the church i believe now at first i thought the christmas tree was actually different for last year but when i had a look at the screenshot i had of the christmas tree last year it's actually exactly the same so there's not actually many differences um, oh, I forgot to mention the stadium as well. The ice rink has returned to the stadium. We can see it on screen. Just like last year, now I don't recommend taking the Urban Cupra Rebel, whatever it's called here, on slick tyres since it's very slidey. Oh, and in the town just south of the main festival, you've got the sort of Winter Wonderland Forzathon shop which is also decorated a bit more. This is probably one of the places on the map that has the most decorations in one spot. And even then it's not very, not very overwhelming. The evolving world, the whole concept of it when Horizon 5 was announced sounded really cool. And I think it's just been quite underwhelming. I know that there are loads of discussions about this going on over on GT Planet. I recommend having a look on this forum because there's some very interesting conversations on here. But people just have very good points about the whole evolving world thing being extremely underwhelming. Playground games have the ability to make these changes to the world. Why don't they just go all out and make it quite exciting? Why don't you add a 100 foot high Christmas tree in the middle of a map with some ramps around it and stuff like that? Why not? A bonus board on the top maybe. I don't know. Just go a bit mental. We like that kind of stuff. We like that kind of craziness. Now, speaking of the stadium, there's something else near the stadium as well, and that is the Event Lab build point. You may have seen on stream, they've added it. This is a starting point for all the Event Lab creations you can do. You can now start just outside of the stadium, which I think is going to help out a lot of people. You get the gist of it. You go to it, you click Create Route, build pretty patterns in your Event Lab, and then race into them. Now, as usual, we follow leaks on this channel and every time there's an update, there are loads of people on different websites that go through the files to see if there are any new leaks. Unfortunately, there are no new leaks in this update, which means as far as leaks are concerned, it might be a good couple of months until we have any more because this update is going to last us two months rather than one. Um, even though Playground Games lately have been a lot better at hiding their upcoming things in the files. They used to leak loads of stuff by leaving them in the files, but recently they've been pretty good. So Series 15, it's an average one. Again, what can we do? It's a free update. Can we complain? We can. Should we? I don't know. Series 16 is next in January. Series 17 is a big one. We're really excited for that. We will soon see what it is. Let's work together to get this Lamborghini seen before Christmas. We can all drive about in it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. I'll see you all later, guys. Uh...